Hello everyone and welcome to this defensive stance video. We look closer if defensive stance is worth the points and we will test it with armor and without armor. And of course we calculate that in percentage. So first of all we create a character and yeah without the glade gifts there is no defense differences between the characters. So if you don't skill any glade gifts every character is the same in his defensive stats. So we just pick this random Thuzar here. I mean Thuzar, I mean yeah you know what I mean. So now we test uh, this with defensive stance, now we level up defensive stance first. So we're testing this with a tank steel sword, because defensive stance increase the percentage of damage reduction. Holy crap, 128. We test uh, this with a sword of 100% Dura of course. So we just made 6 hit, that the Dura is not going to get down so much, that it don't affect the damage. So the average damage without armor is 128. Okay, now we skill down defensive stance and give it a minus that we have the minimum, because of the attribute bonus defensive stance is 11 on my character so the decreased damage is a uh, one tenth of um, the decreased damage more actually that we will test now but uh, more, more on that later so here we tested uh, this for eight times because uh, one was uh, a little bit out of order one hit was like 150 which is which was really hard but we couldn't recreate uh, this spike with the defensive stance on i just count that as a margin of error of course so the average is 139. I will show you the calculation in the end, but before. Now my friend give me his average armor and we will test the whole thing again. So now with armor but without defensive stance. Defensive stance decreases your, the damage you, you take in the end of the damage calculation. At least uh, that is how it was in Mortal Online 1. But it seems it's also the case in Mortal Online 2 of course. So the 5% damage reduction is meant for the end calculation. So let's look what is the average of this. So the average is about 75.56. But now with defensive stance and with armor. Oh is this going to be interesting? And of course we looked at that the armor has uh, the highest possible durability. Of course during the test it got reduced a few points. I mean like 5%. So I guess that this is also the margin of error. But we will see at the end calculation how it is. So let's look on the average on this test. So the average is around 70. That is actually impressive. So here are our test results. All with the average. With and without armor. And let's compare the first. So without armor defensive stance decreases the damage you take of about 7.91%. With the margin of error I would say 8%. And with the armor it decreased about 6.92%. So it's like 7%. So that means the more armor you have, the less defensive stance you need. But here is the very important factor. It decreases the damage you get up to 3 points. So that means if you are wearing a tank steel armor or really heavy hardcore armor and you're fighting versus a Thuzar or something like that or someone who can give you damage through a parry or through your block, then this damage will decrease by 3 points. So that means if you are in close combat, you need defensive stance. Because in some fights, you're parrying or blocking like 50 hits or something like that. And then you really need this damage reduction. So I hoped uh, this helped you to decide if you need defensive stance or not. If you have any questions, feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I really like those. So special thanks to my Patreon supporters, Carmel, the Dragon Slayer, Don Dexter of course, and all the others. So please also leave a like and subscribe, would be awesome. See you all in the next video and always remember to make party hard! Goodbye!